Hello, this is, welcome to, The Sweet Hour with Sammy, which is me, and my mom, who is right there. What are we going to bake today, Sam? Today we are going to bake chocolate chip cookie. Nice, all right. Okay. So, you ready? That's yes, okay. Ready, so the very first thing you need to do is to put your oven at 350 degrees. You want to preheat uh, it, which we already have. <laughs> and then the next thing you want to do is you either want to spray your uh, baking sheet pan with um, this kind of spray, or if you don't, you could take a butter stick and just literally take the top of the butter and spray through the whole sheet of the pan. So while I go do that, Sam is gonna get you started on the flour, baking soda, uh, baking powder, and salt. Okay, so first we're gonna pour all this, which is one half cup, which is one half of a cup, into here. Okay. Next, the baking soda. Baking soda and baking powder two different things and we're doing one teaspoon one half teaspoon. oh one half of a teaspoon so it. did you wash your hands before you started yes just checking okay. so this one and here mm -hmm. so sam's going to take off the excess Hot with dog. a butter knife which is now great pour that into there so there's nothing left. Now take the baking powder, not soda. Then put the same one again. How much is the same one? Which is one and a half of a tablespoon. Teaspoon. Teaspoon, sorry. Flatten it and scrape. There. You also need one half teaspoon of salt. You could just use regular uh, table salt. But we like this. We like sea salt. I'm gonna do it. Yeah. Tell one to Do a few rounds. So you just need one half teaspoon. That's good. Yeah, a little bit more. A little bit more. Awesome. That's good. Then you're going to take a spatula or a wooden spoon um, and you're going to do a really nice job of mixing all those ingredients together. It should be pretty easy because it is just solids, right? Yeah, solids, exactly right. So it's basically going to look the same. So basically all you're going to see is flour, that's okay. The ingredients are not gone, they are still there. All right, so then we're gonna put that at the side. Uh, we will need this shortly. So what Sammy's doing is just making sure all of the edges um, are inside the center, which is always a good idea when you're baking anything. All right, so now we're gonna that. move this away. Yes, and now we're going to um, cream the butter and the sugar. So now we're gonna put all the butter in there, right, Mom? Yes. All of it. So that's uh, one half cup, which is one stick of butter. You should leave it at room temperature, so it should be about six. Sam, stop eating the butter. Um, but if you didn't for today, then you could just put it in the microwave for like, usually microwaves have like a soften mechanism for about like Down the hatch. two yeah. minutes, 130. Yeah. And then that should make it nice and soft. Wow, that's that sad. Um, so you want. And this is soft, so this is now you can see why we want the butter to be soft. Okay. And then put the sugar, brown sugar and then white sugar. Right, so you need one half cup of brown sugar, light brown or dark brown sugar is fine. We're using light brown sugar. Ooh, it looks like little bugs. If you only have white sugar, that's fine too. Just use one cup of sugar total. So that's one half cup of brown sugar. Wait. Okay. Where are you going? Okay. You can just pass it to me, and I can reach for you. And now this is one half cup of granulated sugar. Okay, 
So once you have that, you are going to take one of these trusty devices that my parents always had in their home. Um, if you don't have that, you can actually just use a wooden spatula or this kind of spatula, it'll work just the same. The idea now is to get all these ingredients to be really nice and mushed up together. So once you have that pretty nicely, then you can see like all of the, the three sugars and the one stick of butter just sort of blended in together nicely. Then you're gonna pause and you're going to put in your um, flour and three oh sorry no we're not my bad we're gonna first put in our egg and vanilla extract so Sammy's gonna do the uh, egg he's gonna crack one egg Sam never likes his hands to get dirty, so we're constantly wiping. Uh, all right, wait, where are you going? You need to come back. I thought we're one teaspoon of vanilla extract. So one teaspoon of vanilla extract. I like to hold the spoon over because if you, I can hold it for you. If you go a little bit too, too much, vanilla extract is lovely. So it's not gonna be the end of the world. All right, there you go. So now what we're gonna do is we're going to continue blending those ingredients together and then we're going to start putting in the flour in three different parts at a time. So Samuel, can you start putting that in for me? that flour getting ready for the next time, I'm going to continue to blend it so that all the flour starts looking like cookie dough. All right, stand up. You're going to notice that your dough is going to start to get thicker. You want that? Not a bad thing. Okay. You don't want to overbeat it, so once the um, the flour is in there, you um, definitely just want to make sure that it's all blended together, and then that's all you really need to do. Now this is where we usually like to stop. And we like to show you some tricks that we use. What is this? The, sh the, the remaining uh, the sugar. We already poured it in. I know. I'm just holding it. Okay, so put that over there. Back so, here? Yeah, put it over there. So you're going to take this uh, spoon that we have. Samuel, stop eating the sugar. And can you please... So, and Sam's going to take the spoon and go to the side. Make sure that we have all the dough. So you want to show them what that looks like. So after, after once it's all off the side, like this, then it should look like that all in the middle. So now we're going to show you a couple of secrets that we like to use. You don't have to use these, but this is what we do to make our cookies like what we think are like extra tasty. If we use um, a fourth cup or a little less than that of heavy cream or like whole milk, it makes this the cookies a little bit doughier. doughier. Um, we like to add a pinch of cinnamon and no, it's on, it's on. You have sugar on your face. I do? Yeah, you do. And then we like, we have uh, white chocolate chips, milk chocolate chips, but we ran out. So we're just going to use some of our, um, old fashioned, uh, Easter egg chocolate bunnies but whatever you got for easter if you got any candy you can always crunch that up and you can put that in your mix and that should be really nice and then we put that all together and then you still can i turn it on yeah please Ow. Good? Mm -hmm. so 
Ryan's going to make sure we get a really good job of getting all that stuff together. You don't want to over, so it looks perfect right now. So now we try it. No, we're not gonna try it right now. You're gonna stop, stop. You're gonna take the the spoon, and we're gonna make sure we go underneath, like Sam was doing earlier, and he's gonna flip it in the bowl. First, we gotta get it down to the ground, though. Yeah. Just to you know, make it easier to flip it. Hey. I don't remember this being so hard. There. It's the uh, it's the heavy cream that makes it like hard. Not hard, but it's hard to move. It makes it kind of sticky, but it makes yeah. for a really soft cookie. Okay. Is it hot? No. It's not. No. So now what we're going to do? We're not trying it. Um. Now what we're going to do is we like to use uh, a ice cream scooper right here. Uh, you could use just a regular spoon or your hands. And we like to spread out the cookies. Now it's gonna be pretty gooey. gooey. If you don't like that, um, then the next time you can just maybe use less than a one fourth um, heavy cream. That's or what's none. making it, or none. It, yeah, you, you won't really need it. That's what's gonna make it really yeah. just sticky. Some more. You got to make sure though that. Is that good? Yeah. We're just going to make six because of the dough because we already have the other one. All right, so. This still tastes good. This still tastes good. All right. So then you're going to put this in your oven for about 15 minutes, okay? And uh, you should set the timer, and you could even put on the oven light to help you remember. <laughs> and we're going to put this extra dough into that bag. Right. So you can use extra dough uh, and freeze it in something like this, and then put it in your freezer. Sammy, stop eating the dough. And then you have cookie. Beautiful, perfect chocolate chip cookies. And and they're warm. So they're warm. So, so. Well, uh, uh, so what we like to do is we always like to have some sort of like chat with our tea, our cookies and tea or our cake and tea. So today's prompt is what is the most challenging obstacle you've overcome, Sammy? And do you use it in your life? Since then. What do you mean use it? Like whatever you learned from that not what's your answer gonna be? Do you know your answer? No. So you gotta think about your answer. Optical, second grade. Okay, can you second grade. Okay, what was what was so challenging about you gotta turn and talk to Abuela. Who's gonna Abuela is gonna be looking. So what was challenging about second grade? Life. What particularly about life? <clears throat> okay, so I, I don't know. You don't want to share it? Yes. Okay, so what'd you learn then? It happens. It's literally the word that I. Well, what'd you learn? To be a better person? I don't know. Okay. But yeah, I think that's always a good lesson to learn, right? To be a better person. Yeah. That's not only for you, too, that's for whoever else was involved. Yes. Can I? I hope you've enjoyed this sweet hour with uh, Sammy and Nayla, and we'll see you next time. Madden 20 rules. Bye-bye. Please subscribe, by the way. Subscribing is best.